Hello, CAA Facebook friends. We are getting ready for the CAA Carriage Quiz. I hope you're going to be able to play along with us. We're just checking to make sure the sound and everything is good. And then we'll get underway. I hope you're having a fantastic afternoon. Let's just make sure we've got sound and everything's working great. All right. So it's been a month since we've done this. So just as a reminder of how this works, you can play from home and keep your answers to yourself or you're welcome to share them on our Facebook page right underneath in the comment section. We do play for bragging rights, which are all important. And that means that we want to make sure that you are having a great time. So if you're having a good time, please give me a thumbs up. And if you're being able to hear us, please let me know. I think we're... Hello, CAA Facebook fans. I hope that you are having a great day and that everything is going well for you. Let's see. I hope that you can hear me. I think everything's working well. Just waiting for our online world to catch up. It looks like we're Hello, time. Please give me a thumbs up. There we go. All right. Now we're live. And if you have never played with us before, we play for bragging rights, which means that you're able to play and keep your answers at home with you, or you're more than welcome to put your answers in the comment section. And if you are having fun, I do appreciate a thumbs up so that we know that you are enjoying yourself. If you um, do have questions about a question, typically we uh, cover those when we get into the answer section. And sometimes people help me out with uh, um, answering those, but I do try to watch for comments as well. So let us get underway with a CAA quiz warm up round. This driver is signaling what? Is it A, a stop, B, a turn, a right turn, or C, a left turn? So this driver is signaling what? A stop, B, a right turn, or C, a left turn. Okay, the answer is A. They are signaling that they are going to stop. And that lets anyone that's behind them, that might be a carriage driver or a driver of a car, or even a bicycle bicyclist, um, that they are going to stop. So that's a great thing to use in your day-to-day -day life. Let's move on to warm-up question two. This driver is signaling what? So is it A, a stop, B, a right turn, or C, a left turn? Okay, so we kind of know that it's not A, but are they signaling a right turn or a left turn? And let's take a look at the answer to warm up question two. This driver is signaling a right turn. And so they're putting their uh, whip out to the right. And again, that allows anyone behind them to know exactly what they're doing. All right, now it is Thursday, June 17th, and it is now 3 p.m. Eastern time, and it is time to get going with the CAA Garish Quiz. Are you ready? Here we go. Quite round one, question one. Russet harness is appropriate for vehicles with what type of finish? Is it A, natural wood, B, painted, or C, in the white. Round one, question one. Russet harness is appropriate for vehicles with what type of finish? Is it A, natural wood, B, painted, 
or C, in the white. Okay. Round one, question two. What four things should every show ring driver have? Is it A, a whip, smile, gloves, and a helmet and hat, helmet or hat? B, a whip, a driving apron or lap rope, gloves, and a hat or helmet? Or C, a whip, a kazoo, gloves, and a helmet or hat? Okay, so again, round one, question two. What four things should every show ring driver have? Is it A, a whip, smile, gloves, and a hat or helmet? B, a whip, driving apron or lap robe, gloves, and a hat or helmet? Or C, a whip, a kazoo, gloves, and a hat or helmet? Oh, you guys are doing well here. All right, here we go. Round one, question three. We're back to those driving signals. This signal, this driver is signaling what? Is it A, a stop, B, right turn, or C, left turn? This driver is signaling what? Is it A, a stop, B, right turn, or C, left turn? All right. Thank you so much, Teresa, Rebecca, Sally, Amy, Linda, for joining us. Greatly appreciate it. Okay, round one, question four. What is one of the things that a bit lifter does? And this is a picture of a bit lifter. And it is that A, remove the weight of the bit from the bars. B, makes it easier for the horse to breathe. Or C, keeps the mouth closed. Round one, question four. What is one of the things a bit lifter does? A, remove the weight of a bit from the bars. B, makes it easier for a horse to breathe. Or C, keeps the mouth closed. Oh, I see that those of you who were out at the CAA Learning Weekend know the answer to this. Fantastic. That's great. All right, round one, question five. What piece of safety equipment are these ponies wearing on their bridles? Is it A, a gullet strap, B, ear net, or C, nose band? What piece of safety equipment are these ponies wearing on their bridles? Is it a gullet strap, an ear net, or a nose band? And you might need to, we're gonna pause for just one moment. I'll read that again so you have time to look at that photo. What piece of safety equipment are these ponies wearing on their bridles? Is it A, gullet strap, B, ear net, or C, nose band? Around one, question six. In the Manual of Coaching by Fairman Rogers, it says the hame strap must be put on with its point towards the inner side, that is to the off side of the, on the near horse and the near side to the off horse. Why is this? A, it makes it easier to undo. B, the brass is easier to clean that way. Or C, there's less stress on the collar. Round one, question six. In the Manual of Coaching by Fairman Rogers, it says the hame strap must be put on with its point turned towards the inner side, that is to the off side on the near horse and the near side to the off horse. Why is this? Does it A, make it easier to undo the strap, the hame strap? B, the brass is easier to clean? Or C, there's less stress on the collar? All right, you guys are doing well. Fantastic. All right, so we are ready for the CAA quiz round one answers. Here we go. Russet harness is appropriate for vehicles with what type of finish? And that would be natural wood. Round one, question one answer is A, natural wood. And so if you may remember from a few times ago, um, in the white means that the vehicle is unfinished. 
and has not been either painted or primed or varnished. So the answer to round one, question one, is A, natural wood. Round two, question, or excuse me, round one, question two, answer. What four things should every show ring driver have? The answer is B, they need a whip, a driving apron or lap rope, gloves, and a hat or helmet. Now, a smile is optional, highly suggested. We don't so heavily suggest a kazoo. So round one, question two, answer is the four things that every show ring driver should have is a whip, a driving apron or lap robe, gloves, and a hat or helmet. Round one, question three, answer. This driver is signaling what? And the answer is C, a left turn. Now, if you were watching the horse show that we shared yesterday from Scotland, you may have noticed that when the drivers changed direction in the ring, they did signal. And I specifically saw a left turn signal in the ring. So that was nice. And this driver is signaling a left turn. Round one, question four, answer. What is one of the things that a bit lifter does? And it A, removes the weight of the bit from the bars. Okay, we talked about this at the learning weekend. It was an interesting answer. Round one, question four. What is one of the things that a bit lifter does? And it, its answer is A, remove the weight of the bit from the bars. You guys are doing well, very well. Congratulations, give yourself the thumbs up. Okay, round one, question five, answer. What piece of safety equipment are these ponies wearing on their bridles? And that is a gullet strap. Um, you can see it right underneath the, connecting the throat latch to the nose band. What piece of safety equipment are these ponies wearing on their bridles? And the answer is a gullet strap. Okay, here we go with the last question of round one. In the Manual of Coaching by Fairman Rogers, it says the hame strap must be put on with its point turned towards the inner side, that is to the off side of the, on the near horse and the near side to the off horse. Why is this? It makes it easier to undo. So the answer is A, makes it easier to undo should you need to get, when you're ready to take the hame strap off, uh, undo it. Okay. Did you do well? It looks like you guys did. So congratulations. That was really good. Are you ready for round two? Here we go. Now this is all about vehicles. What type of vehicle is this? We had a video clip um, from the California event. And so do we think it's A, a park drag? B, a brome, or C, a gig? Round two, question one. What type of vehicle is this? Is it A, a park drag, B, a brome, or C, a gig? Round two, question two. What type of vehicle is this one? Is it A, a park drag, B, a gig, or C, a road coach. What type of vehicle is this? Is it A, a park drag, B, a gig, or C, a road coach? All right, round two, question three. This again, we had a little video clip of. One way to grease a hitch wagon fifth wheel is by removing what and then pressing down on the tongue. Is it A, the hound, B, yoke, or C, king bolt? One way to grease a hitch wagon fifth wheel is by removing what and then pressing down on the tongue. Is it A, hound, B, yoke, or C, king bolt? <clears throat> Round two, question four. This was a vehicle. AA Carrot Showcase. What type of vehicle is this? Is it an Oakland? 
B, a wicker phaeton, or C, George IV phaeton. What type of vehicle is this? Is it A, Oakland, B, wicker phaeton, or C, George IV phaeton? So that was round two, question four. Here we go with question five. What type of vehicle is this? Is it A, a park drag, B, a hitch wagon, or C, Sierra mountain wagon? Round two, question five. What type of vehicle is this? Is it A, park drag, B, hitch wagon, or C, Sierra mountain wagon? Okay, so again, that was one of the vehicles that was in the CAA showcase. I'll give you just a moment and then we will go on to the very last question of round two. What type of vehicle is this? And you might have to look closely. Is it A, a spindle seat Phaeton, B, a gig, or C, a George IV Phaeton? Round two, question six. What type of vehicle is this? A, spindle seat Phaeton, B, gig, or C, George IV Phaeton? Okay. I hope you did well. It looks like you guys had quite a few of the right answers, which is congratulations. And we thank you, Catherine and Darlene, and Rebecca and Teresa, everyone for joining us. Catherine, Sally, here we go. CAA quiz round two answers. What type of vehicle is this? Round two, question one answer. It is a brome. This is a brome. It's actually a three quarter brome in original condition. Round two, question one answer. What type of vehicle is this? And it is B, brome. Round two, question two, answer. What type of vehicle is this? Is it a, it is a park drag. Round two, question two, answer is A, it's a park drag. So we know a gig has two wheels and a road coach typically has its destinations painted on the side. So this is a park drag. Round two, question three, answer. One way to grease a hitch wagon Fifth wheel is by removing what and then pressing down on the tongue. And the answer is C, the king bolt. So the king bolt keeps everything together and you want to remove that and then press down on the tongue. And that gives you space on that fifth wheel and you can put some grease in there. So king bolts are very important and you need to remove the king bolt to be able to grease a fifth wheel on a, wag a hitch wagon. So the answer is C, King Bolt. Round two, question four, answer. What type of vehicle is this one? This is a wicker phaeton. The answer is B, wicker phaeton. Hi, Angie, thanks for joining us today. Appreciate that. Round two, question four, answer. This is a B, a wicker phaeton. Round two, question five, answer. What type of vehicle is this? And this is a Sierra Mountain Wagon. The answer is C. Round two, question five, answer. What type of vehicle is this? This is C, a Sierra Mountain Wagon. You can check out those springs on this vehicle. It's amazing. All right, here we go with the last answer of round two. What type of vehicle is this? And this is A, a spindle seat Phaeton. Round two, question six, answer. What type of vehicle is this? The answer is A, spindle seat Phaeton. And because this is the last answer, that means we are ready to move on to round three. Here we go. Round three, question one. 
These are kind of general questions. These horses are wearing what type of collar? Is it A, a full collar, B, a breast collar, or C, a work collar? Round three, question one. These horses are wearing what type of collar? A, full, B, breast, or C, work? Okay, round three, question two. These horses are wearing what type of collar? Is it A, full, B, breast, or C, work? Round three, question two. As these horses go through the marathon section at Royal Windsor, what type of collar are they wearing? Is it A, full, B, breast, or C, work? Round three, question three. This horse is wearing what type of collar? Is it A, full, B, breast, or C, work? This horse is wearing what type of collar? A, full, B, breast, or C, work? Round three, question four. So we have not had this question before. What are these? Do you know? Are they A, hame links, B, tarots, or C, stay chains? Round three, question four. What are these? Is it A, hame links, B, tarots, or C, stay chains? Round three, question five. Which of these can be used with a four in hand as well as a pair? Is it A, crab, B, pole head, or C, yoke? Which of these can be used with a four in hand as well as a pair? A, crab, B, pole head, or C, yoke? Round three, question six. This has been a fast round. For a breast collar to be used in a pair, it must have what? A, heavy metal Ds, B, Metallica, or C, Black Sabbath. For a breast collar to be used in a pair, it must have what? A, heavy metal Ds, B, Metallica, or C, Black Sabbath. Okay, here we go with the answers. You guys look like you're doing pretty well here. That's great. Round three, question one answer. These horses are wearing what type of collar? And they're wearing full collars. The next time around, we'll, we'll get into more complicated like K collars and that type of thing. But for round three, question one, the answer to what type of collar these horses are wearing is A, full. Round three, question two, answer. These horses are wearing breast collars. Round three, question two, answer. These horses are wearing breast collars. All right, round three, question three, answer. What is this type of collar is this horse wearing? And the answer is C, a work collar. And you can see the difference in the stuffing and how it fits against his shoulders. Round three, question three, answer. This is a work collar. Round three, question four, answer. These are hame links. So they go on the collar. Round three, question four, answer. What are these? These are A, hame links. Round three, question five, answer. Which of these can be used with a four in hand as well as a pair? The answer is crab. Crabs can be converted for both a four in hand as well as a pair. Pull heads are typically just for a pair, as well as a yoke. Round three, question six, answer. 
For a breast collar to be used in a pair, it must have what? And the answer is heavy metal Ds. So sometimes they're more of a ring than a D, but either way, you need to have something for the um, pole chains, pole straps, or yoke to attach to. Okay, so we are ready for round four. It's hard to believe we've been going through this quiz pretty quickly. You look like you're doing great though. So if it's a little too fast, just let me know. Uh, but I think you guys look like you're doing good. Pip, we're welcome to the event today. Thank you for joining us. All right, here we go, round four, question one. Which rain is the shorter of a pair horse driving rain? It runs from the inside bit of one horse to the draft rein of the opposite horse. These two reins connect over the hindquarters of the horse with an adjustable buckle. Is it A, coupling rein, B, D rein, or C, gullet rein? Okay, round four, question one. Which rein is the shorter of a pair horse driving rein? It runs from the inside bit of one horse to the draft rein of the opposite horse. The two reins connect over the hind quarters of the horse with an adjustable buckle. Is it A, coupling, B, D, or C, gullet? Round four, question two. Now this is a little tricky. At the 1878 Paris exhibition, Brewster displayed 13 vehicles. How many had a black body? Is it A, one, B, four, or C, 13? And this is a question from the CAA blog, which you can find on our website. It's a little bit tricky. Round four, question two. At the 1878 Paris exhibition, Brewster displayed 13 vehicles. How many had a black body? Was it A, one, B, four, or C, 13? Oh, you guys are gonna be surprised, I think. Let's see. Round four, question three. A proper whip should reach what when the driver is seated? Is it A, the nose, B, the hip, or C, the shoulder? Okay, round four, question three. A proper whip should reach what when the driver is seated? Is it A, the nose, B, the hip, or C, the shoulder? Round four, question four. On a bandwagon, where do they put the drum section? Is it A, behind the driver, B, in the last seat, or C, walking behind? On a bandwagon, where do they put the drum section? Is it A, behind the driver, B, the last seat, or C, walking behind? Round four, question five. According to the American Association of Equine Practitioners, horses heat up how much faster than humans? A, three to 10 times, B, 15 times, or C, two times? Round four, question five. According to the American Association of Equine Practitioners, horses heat up how much faster than humans? The is the answer A, three to 10 times, B, 15 times, or C, two times? Round four, question six. Charles Goodnight is attributed as the inventor of the chuck wagon. He modified a durable Civil War Army surplus wagon made by what Indiana company? Round four, question six. Charles Goodnight is attributed as the inventor of the chuck wagon. He modified a durable Civil War Army surplus wagon made by what Indiana company? Is it A, Studebaker, B, Durant Dork Carriage Company, or C, Birdsell Manufacturing? Okay, is it A, Studebaker, B, Durant Dork Carriage Company, or C, Birdsell Manufacturing? Okay, here we go. Are you ready for the answers? 
Here we go. Round four, question one, answer. Which rein is the shorter of a pair horse driving rein? It runs from the inside bit of one horse to the draft rein of the opposite horse. The two reins connect over the hindquarters of the horse with an adjustable buckle. And that is A, a coupling rein. Okay, which rein is the shorter of a pair horse driving rein? And that is A, the coupling rein. Round four, question two, answer. So at the 1878 Paris exhibition, Brewster displayed 13 vehicles. How many had a black body? And the answer is one, A. So, and that was the ladies drive, excuse me, let me double check here. Ladies brome. Number four was the ladies brome single horse. It was black with red. Everything else was either green or maroon or blue. And there was even a tea cart that was maroon with orange stripes. That was flashy. So round four, question two answer. At the 17, or 1878 Paris exhibition, Brewster displayed 13 vehicles. Only one had a black body. Round four, question three answer. A proper whip should reach what when the driver is seated? And the answer is C, the shoulder. Proper whip should reach what when the driver is seated? And it's the shoulder. I should clarify, it should reach the shoulder of the horse. So, round four, question four, answer. Um, yeah, that whip doesn't need to reach the driver's shoulder. It needs to reach the shoulder of the horse. Okay, um, round four, question four, answer. On a bandwagon, where did they put the drum section? And it is B, in that last seat. And you can see it's almost like the driver's seat because that way the people with the drums have a place to put their feet. On a bandwagon, where do they put the drum section? And it's on the last seat. Round four, question five, fresh from their Facebook page. According to the American Association of Equine Practitioners, horses heat up how much faster than humans? And the answer is A, three to 10 times, which is why we need to be careful when it's warm out. According to the American Association of Equine Practitioners, horses heat up three to 10 times faster than humans. Round four, question six, answer. Charles Goodnight is attributed as the inventor of the chuck wagon. He modified a durable Civil War Army surplus mat wagon made by what Indiana company? And the answer is Studebaker. He had a Studebaker made Army surplus wagon. The Durant Dort Carriage Company is from Michigan. Bird Cell Manufacturing is also in Indiana. So how did we do? Did you guys do well? Looks like there was a lot of uh, discussion and, and different answers on a few of these last set, which is great. We want it to be fun, but we want to have you learn something as well. And I hope that was achieved. Please give us a thumbs up if you felt like this was fun and worth um, coming back for next month. I did want to tell you about our next event. And that is the Friday night webinar on June 25th at 7 p.m. And Barry Dickinson will be back with North American Turnout Traditions Part 2. You guys really enjoyed Barry the first time. And he is going to be back to talk about more things that we see in the traditional um, turnout. And so I hope that you will join us for that. Again, that is free for CAA members. If you are not a member, well, you welcome to become one on our website at caaonline.com or you can on our Facebook page simply purchase um, access to this particular webinar. Um, the webinar is $9.99 and um, so that's something that you can do if you are not yet a CAA member. But if you are a CAA member it is going to be free for you and that information will be in next week's um, Wednesday newsletter. 
So I hope you're reading your newsletter. But I greatly appreciate everyone turning out with us. It is 3.30 p.m. here on the East Coast, and we were right on the dot for finishing up. Thank you so much. Um, greatly appreciate it, and I appreciate um, you spending this time with us. Thank you. Have a great day.